for us, this is home and it's where we kind of come to recharge and reset on Sunday mornings. Foundation of our entire lives that kind of grounds us into who we are as a family and gets us through the week. And I just love seeing the way that it is woven through our kids' lives. We don't live super close, so I wasn't really sure what we would do with our kids. But we started them in the preschool, and then it's just such an incredible place. You can't leave. Our kids are loved, and they have these amazing Christian friends, and they have teachers that are really excited to show up every day. That's just the best thing in the world to hear as a parent is, I want more. I want to be there more. I can't get enough of this place. What do I remember when we were considering sending them here was you know, they're, they're in school 30 hours a week, so they can be with a teacher that doesn't share their values, that they don't have a lot of the same morals as. We'd send them somewhere else, but it's a huge comfort to me knowing that they are with someone that is mentoring them, that's guiding them, that their teachers here share the same values. Part of being a part of this ministry for 36 years, I've seen us start from our chapel building and a couple of administrative offices. I remember when we built the preschool. I remember when we built the gym. I remember when we chose to sign off on the elementary school. They have all been big leaps. They all seem like really big, insurmountable projects. And then it's so cool to look back over decades and be like, oh, well, that was just, that was step one. I mean, they say, if you build it, they will come. I mean, God really has done that here, and we need it. We need more space, and man, what an exciting problem to have. Started coming to Prince of Peace and and was involved, and I would say my perspective on the school was that it took a lot of resources that stretched the congregation um, and may not have been the first person to push for growth of the school, but starting with principal cell really really pushing growth removing some of the barriers for new families to get started in the school and seeing how the Lord has just continued to bless that trend having kids of my own in the school and then being able to see how many of those families are coming on a Sunday when the school is is participating in the service of some kind or just the energy that's going on in this place that if there wasn't a school would just be a couple pastors and a secretary Monday through Saturday, but seeing just how many people are utilizing the facility and the work that's being done is uh, has completely changed my perspective on it. It is a huge leap and it would be a leap of faith. Some of you could call it a risk that the congregation would be taking trying to take on a, a new building project of this size and scope. But what really excites me about it is that the Lord will bless whatever we do. But there's something special here. People are here for a reason, and I want to be part of it. I can't wait to see how God uses this next expansion to get to that next point and fill it up and meet the families that are a part of filling up this space.